What's this? Another ending? <laughs> Woefully underpopulated by B? <laughs> well, yes. There's only one of them. In, in the grand tradition for my channel, just because we finished a game doesn't mean we're going to stop looking at it. Yeah. So, so we've got Hugo. Seven extra endings to look at. Now press circle though. Press press circle. This is all pre-recorded. Oh, we what? can we can kick back. Yep. So oh goodness me, it's Hugo. How did we know it was Hugo? With that said, after I playing this game established that this is just the same cutscene, I hit the skip button. Hmm. There we go. Here we are in the mark. I used to know someone called Mark Platts. Really? Yeah. Cool. He was not German, but when I started doing German in high school, I found his name very funny. I w right. I was at university with somebody who liked to harp on that apparently I have, maybe I've got German ancestry. I don't know. I thought it was all Irish, but whatever. His surname was Reinhardt. Right. Like that's the most Germany German. <laughs> it's pretty German. So ending B. Yeah. You could get ending B from where we were at in our playthrough. Uh huh. By telling Margaret she is your ancestress. I looked that up. Google says it is a word. Yeah. And if the all-seeing eye says, then, you know. And then you speak to the fortune teller, and then you go back to the marketplace. Right. And that is ending B1. There is also ending B2, which is basically the same outcome, but reached in a different means. So yes, it was established that... Oh, also, right? I mentioned this in the group chat, but it... it... Shadow of happy memories? <laughs> Sorry, carry on. I see what they did there. They totally telegraphed that thing with the fortune teller. Oh, yeah? Because it is never referred to as the fortune teller's house. Ah. It is always the former alchemist house. Oh, did you try... Did you go on maps and everything? I did. Mm. It, it's always the former alchemist house. Okay. I'm not lying! <laughs> Does pull the wool over your eyes imply that you're wearing a uh, bobble hat? I don't know. It should. I've never really thought of the meaning behind that saying beyond... Just, you know... You, you say it when you try... Yeah. yeah. Don't suppose you could tilt the screen a little bit... like. People at home won't see this unless you make everything slightly negative eyes. <laughs> there we go. Is that there better? Yeah. Oh, what a flaw. Look at these textures. No, I had it set up for me because I was browsing various, like, imager, basically, before you came in, so. Do you ever see, uh, do you ever see Sharp? S H J R P E, the yes. TV show. Yes. Ugh, bits and pieces. Uh, there's a villainous character in it called uh, Sergeant Hicks, well, uh, who is, you know, convinced that the ghost of his mom is watching over him and keeping him safe. Okay. And this guy's Pete Postlefight. So he spends, like, I swear, half of the show, whenever there's a battle, going, <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Can you hear me, Mother! <laughs> And so now, any time a character says that in a game, in my head, is immediately repeated with um, with Sergeant Hakeswell. Uh, <laughs> bad thing of this is, is when I watched the um, the TV show version of the Red Wedding, <laughs> <laughs> and where Rob, with his cod Northern accent, yeah, being, being a Scottish man himself. <laughs> turns to Catelyn and goes mother <laughs> <laughs> and then gets killed but <laughs> could not stop laughing because of that oh what oh she's not happy it's every movie from the 50s oh no man was not meant to meddle in god's domain <laughs> oh wait no what is that uh, ge geezer power ge what's power that? geyser power geyser I, I, I forget, I don't play uh, Fists of Fighting Rage. King of Fighters! 
No, uh, we're more about Tekken, apparently. Uh, or apparently not, because the other Simon just denies this outright. What? That we have ever played Tekken together. I don't think we've played Tekken on the show. Not on the show, but like, oh, as Stonehenge just hanging out playing video games. No, no, we did that. Because well, the last Soul Edge video is like, nope. <laughs> Never happened. No, I thought he was talking about like just, something else. Just dating that. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> So, after scaring him, throwing the floor at him, throwing the roof at him, come if, with me if you want to not live? She has forgiven him for his unforgivable crimes. Okay, that's nice. And now this is happening. Speaking of the Red Wedding... Uh-huh. The Redding. I re- the Redding Festival. There we go. Hmm. No, recently played through Telltale's The Walking Dead. Ah, yes. I had seen it played beforehand uh -huh. without having seen the show. Yeah. So at the very beginning... Oh, when they play the Reigns of Castamere. Yes. At the very beginning, um, Garrett basically intuits that something is wrong. Because, yeah, why would they be playing that song? Well, no, because, you see, having seen the show and read the book and knowing, oh, the Reigns of Castamere, it's yeah. that thing Tywin went and done. Yeah. Oh, dear. But what playing the game again with that context, it's like, yeah. oh, now I understand. Mm. It makes a bit of sense. There's like all those sorts of little things. It's like, okay, why are people walking around armed at this wedding party? Well, you know, because they go out to get the, the drinks. Yeah. And he's like, let's just go back. And <laughs> he's like, but I've not got my flagging <laughs> filled yet. And he's like, just come on, you burk. <laughs> The first thing I did was promise never to abandon that guy. I abandoned that guy super hard when the choice came up. <laughs> he will not be able to remember this. <laughs> He'll remember this for the next couple of minutes. Hugo will not remember that. Alright, this is... Just to make sure I remember now, right? Yes. She's the daughter of Professor What's-His-Face from, uh, from the library. Who yes. Was switched by Homunculus. Yes. So okay. she's from the present day, but thinks that she's just lost her brother. Yeah. Well, you know, adopted brother, step brother. That's a bit super creepy there. I'm just going to throw that out there, Ike. We don't know that yet. Well, I suppose he could have amended it with just. With the purest of intentions. Yeah. Looks like she's trying to eat his jacket. It looks that way. A pillow gua. So I've cut it out, but there's like two save screens and a load screen between that. Ah. Uh, it breaks flow. My homunculus. Give me the digipad. The digivice. Digivolve into heroes. Mm. And the rest of that. Digital world. I was trying to change my destiny. Shadow of destiny, perhaps? Except not called that because it's the wrong localization. <laughs> What's that over there? Is that the script? <laughs> One of my favourite weird bits of fan canon was, I forget what convention, but the best friends were at it. Uh -huh. And people came up to them with the script. I don't know if they were dressed as Ellen Page, but it's like, yo, here is the script, we found it. <laughs> All you talk about an ancestor, was that just to get me to go back to that time? I mean, w wouldn't Homunculus know because didn't he set all of this up? <laughs> well, he's not telling the truth, is he? Here. No, but that's a bit... It's yours. Like, oh, you know, like, do, do you never see uh, the, the old House of Cards? No, I did not see was, that one. It was alright, pretty entertaining, got kind of creepy. Uh, but the main character guy, whose name I forget, 
um, has this catchphrase whenever he's talking to the press. Yeah. Which is, you might think that, but I could not possibly comment. Which means, yeah, write that down. <laughs> so she'd be like, oh, is this the way it was? And he'd be like, you might think that, I could not possibly comment. <laughs> It reminds me a bit of um, Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister, hmm. where very early on Sir Humphrey establishes. Let's take Margaret home. He, he establishes if you want to get the Prime Minister to not do something, tell him he is making a brave decision. And for the rest of the what three or four series, he's like a very brave decision, Minister. The press will love that. At which point he slams on the brakes. Like, ah, 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 well, hmm. well. Let's think about that. Oh, I need to rewatch the thick of it. Subject on the subject of political uh, humor. I think it's the thick of it that has one of my favorite political quotes, which is. Now let's see if we get this right. You can have sex, but don't have weird sex. Gay sex is not weird sex unless you are not gay. <laughs> I may be paraphrasing, but that's that's the gist of what is said. It's a little more there's salty. Some, there's there's yeah, there's some there's some great lines in it. There's some in um Wait no, what show was that? Oh wait, no, that was in Four Lions. Is uh one of my favourite like politician saying something. Yeah. Is uh, like an after action of after the film is over, there's a someone's giving an interview about like how the how the operation went against you know well because you know four lines about some, yeah. some terrorists and so like basically the guy who was in charge of the police operation against them he says as I understand it the police shot the right man but the wrong man exploded is that clear <laughs> <laughs> it's just like uh, <laughs> shut up homunculus you're not a nice guy get out of here So Margaret's gone, we don't have the digipad, and Homunculus is alive. Yes! Disappearing into time spheres. Mm. Hey, I wonder if that bar is still in <laughs> Oh well, let's go to the pub. Ah. Now that doesn't happen in this ending, that's the next one. No, I. No, but I got super angry. I I made a really bad joke that was that sound, and hope like hopefully it goes missed by everybody. But yeah, no. So off he goes to the pub. Yeah. yeah. And now ending B two. So same as before. Tell Margaret she is related to you. Except instead of the fortune teller, go and find Homunculus. Mm. Which is what we did. We we did both. Yeah, we, we went to the homunculus first. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter which order. As if you get yeah. the fortune teller and homunculus together, then you get ending A, which we did. Yeah. And it's kind of weird to me because I think the ending system is a bit... I think that A ending is the best ending. Hmm. Everyone's where they should be. I th yeah, everyone's where they should be. You get the girl, which was apparently a motivation. But Margaret's now happy and all yeah. this. But, like, B, C, D, and E don't necessarily, like, deteriorate in how well you did. Yeah. Just doing different things. Yeah, it's really hard to find homunculus, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We, I, we had this trouble. <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember having this trouble. Oh, well, there he is. It... They? I don't think it's ever super clear. I know the... W I, come to think of it, is it ever addressed as he in-game? I don't think it's ever addressed in-game. So, there we go, now we're back here. Well, it, it's referred to as homunculus. Like, bring homunculus to me. Well, we'll find out. So I may have made this joke in, uh, in a previous thing, but uh, who or what is Hugo? No, you may have lost me on that one. Oh, that Simpsons. Okay. 
Bart's evil twin. Oh yeah. From the attic. I was thinking of like Hugo the troll from that Who's one. Who's this? Who is this man? Why, it's Mr. Eckhart! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. E I forgot Mr. Eckhart. <laughs> Saved by the power of... Will you cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, get him in a full Nelson or something. Oh. Right, one of the most annoying things I've seen. It was the... <laughs> Fr he hit his elbow, he can't move, it's gone all funny. Oh. I hate it when that happens. Oh, right. No, something that um, my flatmate Patch used to say now and then was like, because you know, you got like mighty heroes in fiction. Yes. And just imagining that probably at some point they've stubbed their toe. Help. Yeah. Maybe one time they sat down funny and, and they got pins and needles. Oh, and, yeah. And you know, it's just, oh, what is it, Hercules? You've. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> Pins and needles. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. Like Napoleon. <laughs> Would Achilles have stubbed Na his heel? Or Napoleon once probably looked to the right too quickly and hurt his neck a bit. Oh, no, yeah. I hate that. Like, people talk about if they got three wishes, what would they wish for? I'd probably wish to never stub my toe again. Oh, that's a nasty name. Or like I said, that bit when you catch your elbow and your whole arm just dies for 20 minutes. Like, no, I'm fine with that. Oh, I hate that. Hugo. <laughs> what was that one Saturday morning thing called that... I think it was Andy Peters was on it. And... You have to use your phone to play Hugo the Troll. Oh, right. I can't remember. Sounds like live and kicking kind of thing, though. Yeah, basically. Come on, sis. Let's go home. But not live and kicking. I promise I'll destroy the time traveling price. What a convincing bald man. <laughs> but anyway, um, I saw like someone post like a bunch of like uh, front covers of a load of comics. Yes. Of Bane attempting to break Batman's back <laughs> or neck or whatever. <laughs> One of them, he's got him in a. Oh wait, no, maybe it wasn't Bane. Some enemy of Batman's has yeah. him, well, at least according to Batman's speech bubble on the front page, ah, oh, he has me in a full Nelson. Yeah. He'll break my neck if I don't escape. We look at the picture, and, you know, full Nelson, it's, you go, like, under their arms yeah. and over their neck. <clears throat> it's over their, over his arms and over his neck. He's stood behind Batman with his hands on the back of his neck. That's just dunking him. Batman it. can step That's... forward at any time. He's giving Batman a swirly. That's the worst. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, is that plot spackle? It might be. My, yeah, if I drop my keys, hang on. No, not that. It's Mr. Eckhart like, ah. I wonder if that was my daughter. If you should do some more digging over there. That's kind of... Kind of Brooklyn now. <laughs> Brooklyn, Water. Germany. Something, something, New Amsterdam. Anyways, just to establish what was going on. <laughs> and, oh no! We sent her to the past she shouldn't be in. Now we don't have the Digivice. Wait, don't we still have it? Do we? I, I, I assume that the homunculus would have taken... Wait, no, homunculus hasn't turned up. I don't even know. <laughs> Time is convoluted. Time is warped. Space is bendable. What is happening there? Aurora Borealis! At this time of day, in this part of Germany, <laughs> localized entirely over, over there. there. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I can steam a mean hat. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why that's as funny as it is to me. But it's great. <laughs> it's a good sequence. It's a pity it became a huge meme. But <laughs> I've only seen one one I found like entertaining, and that was one where they stole all the voice clips from the DK rap. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, skit. No. <laughs> 
I th- Steam Pass. I think the best one that I saw was... I linked it in the group chat. They changed animators every 13 seconds. Hmm. So you just had... Wildly different styles. See, I, I found the thumbnail too disturbing. <laughs> yes. I, I'm with you on that one. Also, I'm pretty sure this is basically the same conversation, but we're at the opposite side of the marketplace. Ah. But... Butterfly effect. Well, that that's something that... It was in the trailer for this game, they talk about how... The Ike that ordered a cup of tea and the Ike that ordered a cup of coffee both exist. But in different realities. I'm sorry, I don't remember that at all. It, it was the like the, the Tokyo Game Show trailer for the game. Oh, right. Um, it, okay. it can be unlocked on the disc. Alright. And I would have thought that that would have made a really good sequence to like... What do you have? Tea or coffee? And then that spins off the game in whatever direction. Hmm. It's like how in, um... He's trying to run away from the car, and he's like, Oh, if only I'd have coffee, I'd have more energy. (laughs) Okay, so in Minecraft story mode, the very first thing you do is make a decision. Hmm. Which is then reflected at the very last thing you see at the very end of the game. Oh. And that's pretty clever. Yeah. But other than that, it's Minecraft story mode. (laughs) Yeah. It's okay. So this is a an okay ending, I guess. One person Wait. is where they should be. Homunculus gets to live in that one room, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Wait, hang on. Oh no, that's it. Speaking of destiny, and assuming that we're not just going to cut this and start a new video with a new audio thing. Yeah. Phone. I mean, we may do because this one's kind of short, and so I shortened the the audio file recording to to compensate for that. So. Oh, sure, dude. Yeah, fair is. And that was B ending. That was bending. Bender bending Rodriguez. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, there. That's that's certainly a bar. And that guy at the back is the film director. And I don't recognize the guy on the left, but yeah, that was that. Do we want to save the data now? I don't think we do. Yes, the